Start recording. Stop recording button. Speech off. Hey guys, I got some good news. I'm going to replace the one Boppet Extreme that I got with uh, hopefully either it's going to be another used one or it's going to be a new one. So the ordering process will start Wednesday. I don't know what's going on. But I'm not going to mention anything about who is buying it or anything. I'm just going to say that I'm getting another one. Uh, I don't know. It, this is my second Boppet Extreme. Uh, let's see. If it's brand new or used. Alright, so. I mean, I don't even need the instructions. I just need the bop it itself. Because, like, um, sure, it may be used, but, uh, whatever. Ugh. I just hate it sometimes. Whenever you, whenever you accidentally want to break a bop it, I mean, it was an accident. Trust me, it was an accident. But... When you get an, another used one to replace it, um, that's not a doctor called replacing it. That's actually called replacing it. Well, it's called replacing it, but it's not fully replacing it. It's just replacing it temporarily. And you know what? I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know. But <laughs> it won't be guaranteed that it will be new, but we'll see about it. Because... Oh my gosh, well, Puppet Extreme, I've beaten it, I beat the Puppet Extreme again, for the last time on that one, the, the one, this one I've beaten, last time, and uh, I don't think, I don't think, uh, we're not going to fix it. it, I don't think it's worth it to fix the Puppet like that, so, I really hope it's a new one this time because, you know, with the new Puppet Extreme, you have more of a chance of it lasting than a, a used one, let's say. For example, if you had a used TV, if someone used a TV before you, and let's say that it had scratches on it, and... Let's just say that um, it was nearing, it was going towards, it's almost at the point where it's going to crack, like the screen on a TV. Now that would be bad news, but on a, in, a, in the case of a bop it, let's see. The, the requirements I'll take for a used bop it are... Is that it's in very good condition, like this one. It has minimal damage, like scratches, minor scratches, minor issues. I'll take it. But if it's got like two or three broken uh, commands on it, I'm not going to take it. <laughs> I'm not going to take it even if it has one broken command. I, I mean, used boppings are not that great. I tell you, they're not that great. So, a Christmas in July present. Well, I'm going to be doing a Christmas in July thing, but it's going to be based on that poppet. So, we'll see what it comes out to. So, yeah. There you go, an update. So, I'm going to be getting another poppet extreme to replace this one. Not that this one wasn't great. But, uh, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it to have a used one. I mean, I mean, if you take very good care of it, I'm sure it'll be fine. But, you never know what people do to them. You just never know. So, if, if for some reason I do get a used one without instructions, I don't need the instructions, I just need to bop it itself but if it happens to be that I get the entire package the box in complete condition like brand new no scars no nothing I mean no no scars no scratches no nothing no pain issues then yes 
by all means, I'm taking it. Now, if it's a used one with the package, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be bad with that thing. Like, it wouldn't be bad. So, I don't think I should go through the trouble of repairing the one that I currently got. Because, I mean, sure it can be, but why go through the process of saying, oh my gosh, is it going to be worth it? Because you never know how long your repair can last. Like, it's like, let's say if you were trying to repair a broken... A, let's say if you were trying to repair a bike that got messed up. And you did repair it, but then all of a sudden, it came apart. Now, that is proof. Now, not saying that that happened to me. Obviously, that didn't. But I'm just saying an example. Like, what if you were trying to fix a bike that got messed up or got wrecked or the tires got messed up or something? One of the two tires because a bicycle. Bi means two. And uni means one. Uni. Unicycle. It's a one-wheeled vehicle. V vehicle. Vehicle. Whatever. So, I'm just saying. I think it's a good idea if I get a new one. Because if I do get a new one, then that means I'd have a better chance of it lasting longer. It would have a better life. Like, not like this one, where it did not last at all, and where I... Sorry, I get flashes like that. Where I hit it on the bed, the bed frame, and it just broke. I mean, it, it was a, it was not even that hard of a hit. It was like a little bit. I mean, use Papa Cho, okay? It just depends on how good uh, they are. There's no guarantee how long they'll last. So, if you have, if you can afford it, try getting a brand new one. Or try getting one as close to good condition as you can. So, yeah. May 30th was when I got the, uh, when I got that one, so that was like almost two months ago, but I'm serious guys, like, if you, if you have, if you are a Boppet fan, and you want to use Boppet, just, okay, um, plushy, plushy television had gotten a used Boppet original, now, how do I know this, because the way the commands sound, like, when they're triggered, when they're moved not the speaker but the way it sounds when you like when you um do the command like what the mechanism sounds like and the Buffett original you can get for about sixty dollars they're not that expensive they're like them, they may be over half a hundred dollars, but um, let's just see about the Bobbit Extreme. Well, let's see because because I want a Bobbit that can last a long time. Not that I made it not last long, but it's just an accident. So. Like, you don't know how rough people handle their electronic games. Like, like it was a guy that owned it. So, probably the guy was, I mean, maybe he wouldn't play with that much, but you never know. Young boys, young boys are usually rough with stuff because... 
I mean, literally, you can tell someone, hey, where is your toy that you just got? Oh, I broke it. Really? Yeah. Seriously. I mean, <laughs> hey, there are lots of people that break stuff all the time. It's not, it's not uncommon. Get a life, people. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. I'm not saying get a life. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Excuse that. Oh, erase that. Forget that. Come on, people. Show some respect for those. So, give respect to those toys that you like. Mm, including your electronic games. Simon. Pop it. Mm. Like, if I get another used one, I completely understand why. So, yeah. Well, last one I got was used. Let's see what this one is. Because if it's... I, I have high expectations for a used bop it because my expectations are very high. They it has to be in very, very good condition. It has to be fairly new, like like it has to be very gently used. So anyway, yeah. Um I hope to get the mini version of the Boppet Extreme sometime because they made like a few different versions of Boppet Extreme. And one of those happened to be the mini version, which is just like the regular, only shrunk down to about what, five, six inches? Oh man, am I so not ready for Boppet math. Like, seriously. It'll probably be here, like, probably here either on Monday or Tuesday of next week or something. I was lucky to get a brand new Extreme 2. Let's hope I'm lucky and cross your fingers, guys. Let's hope I get a uh, brand new one, not used. I mean, used is okay, but you got to understand, you don't know what people have done to these things. You don't know. I mean, I mean, kids have played these back in the 90s, and they're now grown men or grown women. So you never know what kids do to their games. And you know what? They've got to, like, you know... You know what? Kids back in those days should think, well, what if people want them in the future? Well, there you have it. The update on a new Papa Extreme.